Hey makers, it's Charlotte with Makesy, and today I'm here with Scylla, one of our amazing makers, to talk to you about three do's and three don'ts when it comes to making pillar candles. Mm -hmm. So first, let's start with a major no-no. You don't wanna have air bubbles all over your pillar candle. How can we avoid it, Scylla? So when it comes down to your waxes, make sure you get to know research as well and read on the pouring temperatures the correct ones for your wax what works for your wax specifically because if you pour too low you're going to get the air bubbles if you pour too high you're going to get the air bubbles so always try to get on point with your pouring temperatures to avoid all that yeah that's so important mm -hmm. otherwise if your wax is cooling super fast then it might shrink and cause issues if your wax is already too cool then it might not pour properly into your mold so yeah. that is a really great tip and use a thermometer to make sure that your wax is the right temperature mm -hmm. so next super important this is a do do make sure that your wick is centered all of our super silicone molds at Mixi have a pre-poked hole in the bottom, so you will already know your wick is perfectly centered. But if you're not using one of our molds, then you definitely want to make sure that you get that wick perfectly centered so that your candle doesn't burn unevenly. You can also use a wick bar to make sure that your wick is center from the top to the bottom of your candle. Okay, we've got another don't. Help us out. <laughs> How do you avoid jump lines or imperfections on the surface of your wax? So the beauty of wax is that you can remelt it and top it off if you need to. Even when it comes down to, when you're, let's say you're done with your candle completely, it's demolded and you're not satisfied with it, you can remelt it and repour it, which is the beauty of wax. That's exactly right. And you mentioned your favorite tool is the heat gun. Oh, my best friend. Yes. <laughs> so that brings me to another don't. And that's don't let your candles leak. Silicone can expand or shrink based on the temperature of your wax or the temperature of the room. So if you're finding that a little bit of wax is leaking out of the bottom of your mold, then simply take a piece of duct tape or masking tape and just cover the bottom. That's gonna prevent any wax from leaking out. Okay, let's get to another do, something you should do. That's top off your candles. Wax can shrink, we gotta deal with it. So mm -hmm. how should we uh, follow this tip and make sure that your candles are filled all the way up? So if it's cooled down and you see that it is shrinking, um, don't be afraid to just heat up some more wax and top it off. Also, what helps me with smaller molds is if you heat it up with a heating gun beforehand, before pouring, um, it just fills in all the gaps. That's a tip that we use when we're making container candles too. Sometimes we heat up the containers and it does exactly what mm -hmm. Scylla just said. It, it helps the wax cool more evenly and in a pillar mold, fill in all those gaps. So that is a great tip. Okay, our last tip for you guys, demolding. So you do want to be very careful when you're demolding your pillar candle. Here are some that already look awesome, but what do you do when you have something really intricate? So really the best tip is just to be super careful. Super. <laughs> Luckily the super silicone is really stretchy and soft, so it makes the demolding process as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. And Scylla gave me some great tips too, which are if you have acrylic nails or long nails, wear gloves take off really sharp jewelry so you don't mess up your candle, but just be extra careful and peel back the silicone, voila. <laughs> there you have it. These are our top tips for what you should and should not do when making pillar candles. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. Now, go, go make, make it happen. happen.